Cash is here. He wants to say hi. My dog is literally driving me crazy. I am Sade, okay? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute y'all. Um, my name is Kendall and as you can tell by the name of today's tutorial, I was started off doing like a soft glam look and kind of somewhere in the midst of everything got distracted and decided I wanted to be Sade instead. So this is the finished look and you'll kind of see how I was able to go through and make that transformation. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Oh wait, actually make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be a part of the Color Me Kindle family because we're back, we're posting looks, we're talking about school, education, equity, inclusion, all that, topics you definitely don't want to miss out on. And you in the house bored, you ain't got nothing else to do, so you might as well just go ahead, click that button. All right, let's get started. It's the dark spots for me, for once. Like I can't have freckles and dark spots and acne all on my face at the same time. Like, Okay, so first and foremost, I am going to prime my skin. I am using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, this one here. If you can see that, can you see? I love this primer. This is like the only primer that really lasts all day in this texas heat like i'm trying to tell you texas heat is something different like it is extremely hard to find products that will last on your face all day but this one whoo it gets the job done every time okay and the foundation i'm going to be using today is by il maquillage so as you can see here can you see that um, it is their Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation, and I am in shade 105. So I actually have a really cool story about how I found this brand. Um, I kept seeing this brand post about how um, they have like this five minute quiz and you try the foundation for free. And it's like supposed to be guaranteed to be like the perfect color match for you based on this five minute quiz. So I was like... I mean, it's free, you know, so might as well check it out. I mean, I'm in the house bored and bored in the house and in the house bored. So I might as well try this foundation. So we're going to try it out together and see. Um, I just use about two pumps. So we'll see how this works. Um, it's supposed to be a medium to full buildable coverage. So wait a minute. Ooh, it smells good. Oh my God, this is, can you see this? That, that looks really good. Wait, hold on. This like actually matches my skin tone. Oh shoot. Oh, I know you lying. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just. And it's like, and it's like a perfect coverage because I can still see my freckles. What type of sorcery? Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. There are times when I actually go in the store in person and still can't match myself. So for them to be able to match me based, literally, this quiz was five minutes based Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I was shook, y'all. But now I'm going in with my Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. This here. I'm going to link everything just in case I forget because I probably will forget um, as I keep going. Um, so I typically like to let my concealer just dry down a little bit before I blend it out because I think that it's easier for me to control where it's going and where it's laying. Okay, so it's been a minute or so now, so I'm going to go ahead and blend out my concealer using my Beauty Blender. Mm. 
Mm. See how I said I went up a little higher over here because I want my face to just be snatched, okay? Ooh. Um, and that's another thing. My nails are not done, but don't worry about that, okay? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. We're in quarantine. Okay, so now I'm going to go in right away and set my under eyes using my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC25. I like to set mine with this powder foundation before because I feel like it's just like, I don't know, it's like face tuned, but like in real life. Can you see the difference? Like this side and then this side, it's just like... I don't know, it's like you can clearly tell that this side has been set with the powder. Okay. And now we are going to go in and contour using our Fenty concealer. This is the Instant Retouch Concealer. It's from the Pro Filter line. Um, and I am using shade 440. So we'll kind of do the same thing, let that sit for a minute and then come back once it's Kind of dry it a little bit and we'll just blend it right out all right so it's been about a minute or so now so i'm gonna go in and blend this out very light strokes very very light i'm just like pushing it into my hairline So now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to kind of like blend out some of these harsh lines and kind of really marry everything together. There we go. Look at that. So pretty. Our base is pretty much done. I am going to go in now with my... Fenty Beauty, my powder, it's kind of been through some things here. I don't know if you can see that. The lights are really shiny, really bright. This is the Pro Filter Powder, and I am in shade Banana. And I'm gonna really push this into my skin because I need this to be snatched, okay? And also, don't worry if you feel like your contour is disappearing once you set your under eye because we're just going to go back in once with powder once we're all done okay we are big on the powder okay especially if you live somewhere where it's really hot you need you need lots of powder keep that set in stone we don't want to be out somewhere and your face starts melting off okay and don't tell them you watch my YouTube. <laughs> don't tell them you was watching my video. Okay. Alrighty, y'all. I'm back. Sorry. I have to do my eyebrows off camera because this quarantine, I don't know. They've been they've been doing something different, honestly. I know they say like your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, but low key, mine been acting like distant relatives. Like they've been doing some real weird stuff. So I had to step off camera and get the girls together real quick so but now i'm back and i'm gonna go ahead and dust off the powder from under my eyes um so this quarantine has given me like a lot of time to get caught up on shows and i've been watching insecure and i don't know for those of you that watch insecure but the last episode has me like i i'm not messing with molly like i'm not i can't get with it like she seems like the kind of friend that's only that doesn't want you to be better than them like she seems like the kind of friend that's like i'm gonna root for you as long as you stay below me and it's like she said she was upset with Issa because oh sorry if you haven't seen the episode skip through this part 
just skip through. She was upset with Issa because she felt like Issa went behind her back to talk to her boyfriend, but to, to get her boyfriend to have Vince Staples come for the block party. But my thing is, she said she didn't want to include her. So Issa did not involve Molly. She went through someone else to have him do it. So I'm just like... I don't know and then just for her to cause that scene at her event was just like what like this is your best friend and like not even 30 minutes ago they were over there doing the wobble now all of a sudden you want to go approach her all mad at her event like I don't know man that's not cool I don't I just feel like that was really messed up I feel like she's really shady for that and I don't I'm just not feeling her and I'm still mad about that parking spot and like I'm the kind of person, once I get invested into a show, I end up not liking the character in real life. Like, I get too invested, so I'm like, it's going to be hard for me to like her anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Is anybody else like that? I feel like it's just like a me thing. I don't know. Y'all's thoughts on Issa and Molly? Because I saw some people were saying that Issa was in the wrong because um, there was an incident where, like, I think it was Issa had done something. Issa was in the wrong over the parking spot. They were like, no, that was definitely Molly's parking spot. But I'm like, was it really her parking spot if she pulled in and then waited until Issa left to pull forward and then back in? I'm like, I don't know. She's just been real passive aggressive. And like, I get it. But if that's your best friend, like you should be able to be real. Like, you know what? You're really getting on my nerves or I don't like the way you handled X, Y, and Z. I don't know just me but different strokes for different folks I guess so now I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow brush um this is MAC 266 and this again using the Fenty Beauty and I'm gonna go in my eyelid and I'm just kind of gonna do like light strokes of it at the top kind of heavily focusing right here on this crease area like windshield wiper motions So I'm like bringing the concealer, not the concealer, the bronzer kind of over into this corner eyelid. Can you see this motion right here? Because like I said earlier, I do something a little different for contouring my nose because I think honestly a nose contour on me just looks really, really strange. So I kind of like to like create that look by bringing this powder down kind of right into this area here and then just dragging the rest of it down, getting that product spread out evenly onto the bridge of my nose. So again, using kind of like a, a windshield wiper motion. You see that compared to this side? Okay, so now. And again, I'm just repeating the exact same thing on this side. I'm kind of going in and dragging the product kind of on my inner, this little area, whatever this is called, I don't know, your nose, eye, corner, whatever, and just dragging that product down. And so, can y'all see that? All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a lighter color on the eyelid, and I'm using the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions. I love this palette, I use it for everything. Again, you can clearly see it's been through some things and I'm going to be using that shade right there. Super, super light. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just place that really lightly right here. All over this part of the eyelid. And I want these colors to be like married to each other. Like, ooh. I'm gonna really blend those in. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna repeat the same thing. 
Okay, so now I'm going back in with just a clean brush because I really want these colors to be like married to each other. Like I want it to look like they are just kind of like, I don't like just bleeding into one another, very blended. All right. So now that we have our eyeshadow on, we are now going to go in and line our eyes. We're gonna go in with the, where did I put it? This is Inglot Eyeliner Gel. Okay, so I finished with my eyeliner. Um, I did a really thin line, if you can see, on the top, and then I just lined the bottom. And now I'm gonna go in with my mascara. It is the Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline. I this look is kind of giving me like, like the more I'm looking at this look, it's kind of giving me like Sade vibes. Like, ooh, that would be so cool if I did like a, like a photo shoot, like dressed to Sade. Low key, I could actually do that. Ooh, and you know what photo shoot I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of like the one where she has like the, the denim outfit on and she has like the braid to the side and she's kind of like, you know, if you know, you know, okay? I think, oh my God, I have to do that now. But Sade, I think she is just like one of the most beautiful women to have ever walked the face of the earth. Like she is like her vibe, her essence, all of that. Let me actually, I'm gonna pull up a picture of that and actually see if I can do that with this look because that would really be like a vibe. Ooh. And that's definitely soft glam, but the only thing is, I don't, cause I have like a full face of makeup on. Like I know this is soft glam, but I still have like a full face of makeup and Sade is not like a full face of makeup kind of girl, you know? We'll see. Let me finish this mascara. I'm going to play around with some things. Okay, so I just put on my mascara and I googled that picture of Sade and plot twist. Now I'm going to turn myself into Sade because one, I have a denim shirt and it's clean. Two, I have a braid ponytail hanging up in the bathroom. Hopefully Cash didn't mess with it. Cash is my dog, by the way. Um, and I don't, I just feel like this is a Sade look. Like, I don't know. The only thing I wish I didn't do though was cover my freckles, but honestly, I don't even care. I feel like this will definitely be such a look and just so fun to do and just play around like while I'm in the house. Um, so yeah, plot twist. You know, I feel like, like I said at the beginning of the video, this always happens when I try to do soft glam. It never works out the way I want it to. Like, uh, my attention span is like, honestly trash. Okay, so now that my mascara is on, because I am going now for this Sade Smooth Operator Kiss of Life look, this vibe, I'm not going to do any bottom mascara because I was looking through pictures of her and she doesn't do that at all. Um, and I won't be adding any false lashes to this look. So as you can see, I'm gonna be going rolling with my real lashes here. And we're gonna finish the look off by going in with a little more powder and of course highlight. And after that, I'm gonna add a nice red lip to pull it all together. Oh, I'm so ex oh, I'm so excited now. I am using the Artist Couture Highlighter, this one here, in the color Illuminati. Sade doesn't use highlighter, but I mean, I already covered up my freckles, so it's going to be a very glam Sade, soft glam look. Yeah, okay. Yep. Roll with it. Roll with it. I'm going to make it all come together. Don't worry. Pat that in there. I think it makes a difference. See? Hmm. 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 And the last part is we are going to go in now and add the red lip because Sade has a red lip. Sorry. For the liner, I am for the lip and the liner, I am using Kylie Cosmetics. Um, it is one of her velvet liquids in the shade Red Velvet. 
self-explanatory. I think this is so good. And now I'm gonna go in with my, oh, here we are. I am using the Morphe setting mist. Love this, again. There are very few things that will keep your face in place in this Texas heat. I cannot stress that enough. And this is one of them. Look, I'm about to go in the bathroom and put the hair on, put on the shirt. I have some gold hoops I'm gonna put on. And I feel like this is a vibe. Like, I love it. I went ahead and added the braid. I put on my Nana's gold hoops. My denim shirt because that's what Sade had on in this iconic photo shoot that I'm referencing. Um, I'm going to thumbnail a picture in here so that you all can see it if you're not familiar with it. But this was super, super fun to do and actually just very therapeutic because, I mean, I've just been in the house all day. So it just felt nice to get dressed up and do something. So this was super fun. I actually think I want to do a series of this now. Like pulling from other celebrities or other iconic photo shoots I'd love to recreate. If you have any ideas of things that you think I should try next, please comment down below. Again, let me know your thoughts. Like, how do y'all feel about this look? Do you want to see more looks? Are you over it? Are you like, girl, you, you could have kept this? Let me know. Comment down below and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.